And here are some practice problems dealing with some of the concepts in this section. And in this problem we're told that a piece of wood is rectangular in shape and measures 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And it has a mass of 27.6 grams. Calculate the density. Okay, 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 10 centimeters, and it's rectangular. So this is a wood block, basically. You can draw a sketch if you want to, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but just basically think of a rectangular solid, a box or block shape, so something like this. And we know these measurements. This is 2 by 3 by 10, and those measurements are all in centimeters. So we need to find the density, and so we need to calculate the volume, and the volume for a rectangular solid is the length times the width times the height. So it's these three numbers multiplied together. So that's 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And this is pretty easy. 2 times 3 is 6 times 10 is 60 and centimeters times centimeters times centimeters gives us centimeters cubed. So that's the volume, 60 centimeters cubed. And then the density, and density uh, is, remember typically the symbol for density is the Greek letter rho. Density is mass over volume. And the mass is given, that's the 27.6 grams divided by the volume, which we just calculated, 60 centimeters cubed. So we divide this, 27.6 divided by 60, and we get 0 0.46, and then we have grams per cubic centimeter. So that's the density of this piece of wood, and this is a fairly typical value. We're told that this is wood. We're not told what type of wood it is. Different types of wood have different densities. But the density of wood is typically less than 1. It's less dense than water, which is why wood floats. And in the next problem, we're told that a rectangular object is 3 centimeters by 6 centimeters by 11 centimeters and has a mass of 195 grams will the object float on water? So what we'll do in this one is calculate the density and just compare it to the density of water. And if it is more dense than water, it will sink. If it's less dense than water, it will float. So this is similar to the previous problem. We'll start by calculating the volume. It's just these numbers multiplied together. 3 centimeters times 6 centimeters times 11 centimeters. And 3 times 6 times 11 comes out to 198, and we get cubic centimeters. And then we calculate the, the density. Density is mass divided by volume. And the mass is given, 195 grams over the volume, which is 198 centimeters cubed. Now, you don't actually have to do this calculation. You should be able to look at this and see that the numerator is a little bit smaller than the denominator, so the number is going to come out to be a little bit less than 1, which means that it will be less dense than water. The density is a lower value than 1. Let's go ahead and do the calculation. When you put, put this into the calculator, it comes out to 0.985 grams per cubic centimeter. So it's less dense than water, so it will float. But it is just barely less dense than water. It's only slightly lower than 1.00, which would be the density of water in grams per cubic centimeter. So this will float, but just barely. So the answer to the question, will the object float on water, the answer is yes, but just barely.